In 2015, a formidable new contender emerged on the American boxing scene. Hailing from the expansive steppes of Kazakhstan, this pugilistic force, known as Gennady Golovkin, carved a path of dominance through the middleweight division. Oba! I think the referee could easily be stopping this right yeah. here. Middleweight champion. Oh, big right there. His reputation for ferocity in the ring led many seasoned boxers to carefully avoid matches that might tarnish their records. Despite his growing notoriety, Golovkin had not yet showcased his skills on the lucrative pay-per-view platform, and the boxing community was abuzz with speculation about the potential challenges he would face in such a high-profile setting. As the anticipation built, the search for a worthy opponent intensified. Finally, on July 26, after considerable speculation and negotiation, an adversary was secured. David Lemieux, represented by Golden Boy Promotions. This match was set to be a critical test for Golovkin, as it would mark his debut in the pay-per-view arena a stage where the stakes were higher and the spotlight brighter than ever before. The boxing world waited with bated breath to see if Golovkin's talent would shine as brilliantly under the intense glare of pay-per-view scrutiny. David Lemieux was not merely a rung on the ladder for Gennady Golovkin. He was a formidable opponent in his own right. At the time they were set to clash, the Canadian pugilist had amassed an impressive record of 34 victories, with 31 coming by way of knockout a clear testament to his devastating punching power. Golovkin, meanwhile, had solidified his position as the undisputed sovereign of the middleweight division, securing decisive triumphs over notable adversaries such as Gabriel Rosado, Matthew Macklin, and Curtis Stevens, among others. However, none of these contenders had managed to pose a significant challenge to the Kazakhstani juggernaut. Therefore, when Lemieux, a renowned knockout specialist, was announced as Triple G's forthcoming opponent, it signaled a potentially career-defining confrontation. The boxing community eagerly anticipated this matchup, wondering if Lemieux's power could test Golovkin's dominance or if Triple G would continue his unstoppable march through the middleweight ranks. The consensus among analysts was clear. This matchup would be the most arduous test yet for the undefeated champion Limo himself exuded confidence pre-fight, assuring everyone he'd effortlessly dethrone. JD meanwhile, JD abstained from any verbal jabs, a fighter accustomed to letting his fist do the talking. The betting odds, the odds leading up to the fight were not in Lemieux's favor, with a daunting seven to one against him. Yet in the unpredictable world of boxing, where the underdog can defy expectations, Dave Lemieux was determined to demonstrate that anything could happen within the squared circle. The stage was set, the contenders were poised, and the audience around the globe held its breath in anticipation. Two titans were about to engage in a battle destined to resonate in the annals of boxing history. On the momentous day of October 17, 2015, the hallowed halls of Madison Square Garden were abuzz with excitement as the fighters made their entrance. Lemieux approached the ring with a calm and collected air, betraying no hint of intimidation. However, when the iconic name of Triple G echoed through the arena and his image illuminated the screens, a subtle shadow of concern seemed to momentarily cross Lemieux's visage. Boxing's the longest reigning world champion. Here is Triple G. Golovkin's approach to the ring was marked by the solemnity of a man on a profound quest, almost as if he were marching towards a grave he was about to dig, all under the thunderous applause of the eager crowd. The legendary announcer Michael Buffer amplified the intensity as he introduced the combatants. The bell rang, marking the start of the bout. Although Golovkin was the favored fighter, a palpable tension hung in the air. 
Lemieux was not renowned as a formidable knockout artist without reason. Yet any doubts were quickly dispelled as the fight unfolded, revealing that Lemieux was outclassed from the onset. The gulf between their skill levels and technical prowess was stark. Gennady Golovkin, with surgical precision, methodically broke down his adversary. He unleashed a relentless assault, punctuated by punishing jabs that steadily sapped David Lemieux's strength. Lemieux seemed overwhelmed, his form deteriorating under the relentless pressure. His desperate attempts at offense, largely ineffective and off-target, only highlighted the extent of his disarray. As the fight progressed, it became increasingly clear that Golovkin's mastery and Lemieux's struggle were worlds apart. In the tension-filled fifth round, driven by a surge of frustration, he made a bold move against his adversary, employing a reckless strategy without hesitation. As the round progressed, he succeeded in delivering several impactful strikes to Golovkin, a fleeting moment of triumph. Yet as the final moments ticked away, the Kazakhstani warrior struck back fiercely, landing a punishing left hook to Lemieux's liver. A grimace of sheer agony etched itself onto the Canadian's face as he collapsed onto the mat. Caught up in the fervor of battle, Gennady inadvertently struck his down foe, but he quickly expressed regret for the unintentional blow. From that juncture, the bout shifted dramatically, becoming lopsided. Golovkin, with relentless hunger, dismantled Lemieux's defenses, each strike resonating with thunderous power. By the eighth round, the end was nigh. An increasingly battered and fatigued Lemieux endured a relentless barrage of punishing hits. Golovkin, almost toying with him, unleashed a succession of crippling blows in a cat-and-mouse game. The fight's continuation became untenable, and the referee compassionately halted the one-sided affair, sparing Lemieux from further harm. As the match unfolded, Golovkin's dominance became apparent. His precision and power were unmatched, each move calculated to exploit weaknesses with clinical efficiency. Lemieux, though valiant in his efforts, found himself outmatched. The crowd watched with a mix of awe and concern as Golovkin's mastery of the ring was on full display, a testament to his skill and relentless pursuit of victory. The referee's decision, while merciful, was also a recognition of the undeniable gap between the two fighters, ensuring the safety and integrity of the sport.